Hello YouTube, this is Yaps, your gaming wolf. Today we are going to sniff at Party Hard. Party Hard is an action stealth strategy game from Pineapple Games and Tiny Build, which was released on the 25th of August on Steam. In Party Hard, you play as a sleep deprived mass murderer who only desires peace and quiet. Unfortunately, all the parties in your neighborhood are keeping you awake. And so you make it to your life's goal to murder every single man and woman at these parties. In between the levels, you are rewarded with short cutscenes, which interview a detective that followed you during your murderous spree. These are surprisingly well voice acted and give you motivation to go on further. They were a series of murders strung across the US during the autumn break of 2000, exclusively taking place in and around house parties, rooftop parties, cruise parties, you name it. This guy was there, stabbing his way through the crowds. And what was the motive, Mr. West? This guy. He just wanted some peace and quiet. Maybe you should start from the beginning, Inspector. It might give us a better idea of where this all went so wrong. But first things first. When it comes to the settings, the game has what it absolutely needs. Which is not a lot, honestly. As it is presented in the pixel style 2D graphic. And locked to 60 frames per second, so not even V-Sync is needed. In the options you will also find the menu Twitch config. In here you are able to link the game to the chat of your Twitch channel, allowing the audience to trigger specific events, like letting loose a beer into the party, or sending out go-go girls, bouncers, or even SWAT teams. It is an idea that I have not seen integrated with an PC game before, only with some very specific PlayStation 4 games. The gameplay is fine with keyboard or gamepad. If you plug in an Xbox gamepad, it immediately recognizes it and also gives you the proper button prompts in the tutorial, so no worries here. The gameplay seems very diverse at first. Your objective is simply to murder everyone and not get caught by a bouncer or the police. You will have various locations to choose from, which you will unlock one after the other. Each location has also a slight random generation, giving you different items, replacing a tiny bit of the environment and also placing the party goers in different starting positions. While a good idea to keep the game fresh, this will cause an issue with the more difficult levels, which I will talk about later. Your trusty way to dispose of the loud disturbers is your knife, which you always have on you. One swipe of it immediately kills anyone that stands in front of you. Just be careful about who is watching, as anyone that witnesses you murdering someone will immediately run to the nearest phone and call up the police. If a witness was able to identify you, the officer will immediately come for you, regardless where you hide. Poor guy, however, should stop on the donuts, as he will simply give up after a short chase. He will, however, chase you longer and longer the more often the police was called. You can use the environment to kill him, but this will send out special agents, which are a pain to deal with. Speaking of environment, most stages have multiple ways to use these to dispose of the hard partying people. You can electrocute them, bomb them, squash them, shred them, or even feed them to sharks. These, however, will not vary much with the random generation of each specific level. The difficulty of each level is steep. You most likely won't be able to finish any of them on your first try and you will have to try and try again until you are able to figure out a fitting strategy. There are various ways to escape the cops to make this easier. From a spare change of clothes, over to shortcuts on the map. Just be careful, Mario appears each time you use one of those shortcuts as a means of escape, and he will bar them shut. Unfortunately, the difficulty of those levels is very poorly balanced. While I had a lot of issues to finish off the third party, the casino, the fourth party on the rooftop was just a piece of cake, as you are able to electrocute already half of the people on the dance floor. The more difficult stages are also very subject to the random generation, as a lot of the random generated hazards and items 
are simply not good enough for you to finish the job, and so you often have to hope for random generation that plays into your favor. As a final statement, I give this game a solid 7 mass murderers out of 10. The graphical style is nice to look at, the controls are fine, and the gameplay gives a lot of thought for strategy. I enjoyed comboing the various hazards together, like calling in the pizza service, then setting a fire in the kitchen, and squashing the firefighters with a car, so all of the band is walking into a fiery inferno in the way to get a slice of pizza. The Twitch integration is fun, but not diverse enough to make much of a difference, as there are only around 10 different events the chat can trigger, which will repeat a lot. Also, the random generation of each level will inevitably force you to fail on levels, as it won't give you the tools to finish the job. Party Hard is currently available on Steam for $9.99, which is a price where I can absolutely recommend it to pick it up. Thank you very much for watching this review, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content, and I will make sure to bring out more for you in the future. This was Yaps, your gaming wolf, and I'm going back into my cave for now. <laughs>